Oh, and we are live. Welcome to the 365 Day Gaming Challenge. This is the challenge where I play an unplayed game from my pile of shame every day. This is day 107, and we are looking at Battlezone Combat Commander. Which is kind of a first person RTS hybrid. Which is a remake of the original Battlezone 2, which in itself was a sequel to Battlezone. And we. Uh, okay. Now we have an empty duty roster. So Fuddy is going to join. And options, uh, audio, because that is rather loud. I originally played Battle Zone. when uh, we were still using dial-up modems to do online multiplayer and I used to play this, well not this one, the original Battlezone the one that had the Redux version, Battlezone 98 Redux I think it is so the original game for that one on dial-up modem multiplayer quite a lot this one, I think, is, if I remember rightly, is based on Mars. Let's just uh, actually just go back into the graphics options. Bum, bum, bum. We want all the light zones. Reflections on high. Shadow detail on high. All of this stuff on. More options, even. Oh, why is it put us on that? Hood scale, I think we're gonna up a little bit. Hopefully that's okay. Single player. I thought we'd turn the volume of the music down. Yes. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to turn my amp down a bit and then it's going to blast my ears out. Hopefully, that mix is still okay. Just make sure we definitely just yeah okay so we do have mic good single player so we are around Pluto oh, I thought we were based on Mars maybe we go to Mars on the original. Such a long time since I played the original, I cannot remember. Major Manson, this is General Braddock. Come in. If you can hear this, Major, get your troops in order. 
The AAN has voted to investigate the attack on the Cerberus base, and an ISDF fleet has been dispatched immediately. Repeat, an ISDF fleet will be arriving on Pluto shortly. Please ensure all sensitive information is secure. We're checking this out like you're a scout base, Manson. So you better look like a scout base when we get there. Don't know why you'd want to go to Pluto. There's probably better planets you go to. Is Pluto even a planet? It's not a planet now, is it? Lieutenant Cook, this is your commander, Yelena Shabayev. I thought I'd introduce myself before we head out with the second fleet tomorrow. Make sure you and your squad check in with me before you board the carrier. We're going to be on the front lines for this one, re-establishing contact with an outpost on Pluto. I don't know what's out there, Lieutenant, so let's prepare ourselves for every possible option. Maybe Pluto was still a planet when this game was originally... Just four years ago, made. I was standing in my father's field, looking up at the stars. Sometimes I don't know how I got here. I was supposed to be just another nobody in North Platte, fixing up the trucks so it'll last until the next loan comes through. But ever since someone told me that people were up in space, guys just like me, I knew I had to go. In training, they told me about the biometal wars in the 60s, back when Russia was Russia and they were the bad guys. Now they say it's all about maintenance, keeping a lid on the peace, dividing up the biometal, moving forward together. Until I got into secret ops. And trust me, there's a lot more to the ISDF than just keeping the peace these days. Wow. That is very floaty. Roger that, Condor 5. Starting landing sequence, Commander Shabayev. We are on the ground, Commander. Stand by to release the magnetic locks and open the doors. Okay, Lieutenant Cook. Lieutenant Sims, when the doors in front of you open, I want you to vacate the ship and follow me until we're clear. Okay, we'll, we'll do that. All right, men. There's a lost outpost out there, and we're going to find it. As your commander, you'll see stars. I've highlighted on your HUD and on your radar. This will make it easier for you to stay close to me, since the terrain here on Pluto may be treacherous. I that. want us to stay in tight formation at all times. That must be a moon. Okay, operator. let's move out. That's some kind of stationary comet. Nice. And is that the sun? It looks a bit big given we're on Pluto. Hold up here, men. What's up, Commander? The landing a little rough for you? Yeah. Just waiting for you slow pokes. And just for that comment, I think my men and I will take the easy way. Then we'll take the high road, Red One. See you at the base. All right, let's get moving. This is exactly what Pluto looks like, you know. Just like this. They went there and they mapped the planet. Or X planet. Probably. That laser stuff. Just like they do with racing circuits. Whoa! Watch out for the unstable terrain! Lieutenant Cook, you better stick with me. This book down.
Lieutenant Cook, look for me highlighted in your HUD, then turn towards me and head in my direction. Are we supposed to be over there? Good job, Lieutenant. I know this terrain can be tricky. Let's try to stay in a tight formation. Lieutenant Sims, you take the pass to the east. Yes, sir. Heading out. Lieutenant Cook, you're with me. I'm picking up something strange at my 11 o'clock heading north. Okay, so we were following the wrong Sims. convoy then. Cook and I will try to cut it off up ahead. Well, at least we got to see a little bit more of Pluto, though. It's doing something. just over the hills. Sky Eye, this is Commander Shabayev. Objective located. Proceeding to secure. Sky Eye, do you copy? There's too much radio interference here. Let's keep moving. We'll approach the area from the east. Follow me. I think we could probably do with making the UI a tad bigger, actually. Uh, it doesn't look like we've got it <laughs> available. When you're in there. Let's just carry on for now. This is so I can make that radar just a little bit bigger. It's a touch small in the head. This game was released in 2016. For a scout outpost, this place sure was heavily armed. Hold the commentary, Lieutenant Sims. But the original game was way back. Um, yes, sir. Heading out. 2000, 2001. Lieutenant Cook, I want you to search for the communication station. Scan the buildings by pointing at them and pressing your I key. The My I key. The box on the right side of your HUD will tell you when you found it. I'm going to check the tunnels. My eye key doesn't appear to be working.
don't know that's actually doing anything. Cook, I need that communication station found now. Remember to point your reticle at the buildings while pressing your eye key. This initiates your scanners. Yeah, but it's not doing anything, is it? Good job, Cook. That's the one. I'll meet you there. But the communications building is the one with the big radar on it. Who'd have thunk it? Strange readings from inside that station cook. Go inside the structure and check it out. To hop out of your vehicle, use the H key. <laughs> so I used to do like in the original game, hopping out of the vehicles and getting the sniper rifles and sniping people in the vehicles. Commander, there's a man in here. An ISDF officer. An officer? Is he alive? Nope. Only if you call this living. It's about time you boys got here. Oh, yes. Who am I speaking with? This is Commander Shabayev of the Second Fleet Orange Squad. Well, I'm Major Manson, Commander. I've got an unknown number of hostiles crawling all over this rock. Is your ship to shore uplink operational? I need to talk to Braddock. Not right now. Something is interfering with our communications. No, no. Then they already know you're here, ma'am. You better call for any squad support that can hear you. Commander Shabayev, come in. I've got an unidentified radar contact in my area. Copy that, Lieutenant. Cook, get back to your ship. Stay here for now, Major. I'll be back for you. I'm coming. It's All H right, Cook. It's me. H. It is H to hop back in. I've got a visual. They're attacking. Oh no! I'm engaging targets. Let's get our missiles on. I've got them on radar. I'll paint you a target when we're in range. Stand by to engage. I've targeted another hostile for you, Cook. Look for it in your HUD and engage. I'll take the other one. What the hell were those things? They came out of nowhere. We've got company out here. Let's get back to that outpost. I cannot see anything in my hood. I've got another radar contact oh, in the outpost. Go. Cook, intercept it. You can target it yourself with your T key. No. what they are but um we picked them up so they must be useful copy red one this is squad orange can you transmit your location got it red one on our way I'm banged up pretty bad here, Commander. In the original game, you were building up right, the bases Lieutenant as well. So, here. well, at least the multiplayer. Cook I can't remember me. how the missions went in the original. In the original, I'm talking about the original Battlefield, not Battlefield 2. Uh, so you did all the, the base creation stuff with your new numeric This keeper. area is too hot. I'm going to have to stay here with Sims and the Major. And you could hop You're between going the, to have to assist those men. the different... Um, All right, Lieutenant Cook, vehicles. move out. Move out where? Are we going for that blue thing? I guess we're going for the blue thing.
Let's go for that then. No doubt there's some more enemies. Duel. Steep Thank hill. Thank God, get me out of here. This place is crawling with I don't know what, but it ain't friendly. The lieutenant will get you out of there, but you must head for my coordinates to the west. Do you copy? Roger, I'm moving. Lieutenant Cook, escort that vehicle to my position. Stay with him. I reckon we should just abandon that vehicle. It looks stupid. Why would you point paint a face on it? I'm picking up two more hostiles on an intercept course. Cook. Okay. Hold them off. I'm on my way to you. Where are they? Where, where, where? Oh, something over that way. Well done, Lieutenant Cook. Now follow me back to the outpost. He's a bit poorly. He's down to about a third health, I think, a half health at least. Well done, Lieutenant Cook. The Thank you. Truck has reached the base safely. It certainly has. Did it just crash? No. Okay, we completed the mission. I thought it had crashed there for a second. Congratulations! We rescued Major Manson. So we, yeah, so we've got craft building. We didn't lose any craft. Three teams. Yeah, fair enough. Is this a next mission? General Braddock, this is Commander Shabayev reporting for duty. I file the request that full information about the Cerberus base be made available to the field commanders. The intelligence reports we've received haven't been up to regulation, and I'm sure you can understand my desire to use the best knowledge available yes. in order to keep my men safe and secure from this unknown enemy. This is General Braddock, filing report A04 for Ambassador Cossier. Our investigation into Cerberus Base will continue as soon as I've established clear contact with Major Manson and we've had time to confer. Over and out. Okay. Um, oh, so that is a replay. Yeah, I thought that was the same mission. So put us straight back into the same mission then. Single player. Uh, yeah. But if we've done that, then... I don't know where this is going to do the so same. So now we know what we're fighting. Oh, okay. Monsters. But did Manson know? Or the rest of those men on the server space? It wasn't absolutely clear. That was a did they even mission. know what hit them? If I'd joined up just a few years earlier, that could have been me. Trying to hold down an outpost on Pluto against an army we're not equipped to fight. 
I've seen those telegrams go out to the families of the men that were killed. They don't explain anything. Your son died for the cause. But whose cause? The ISDFs? Braddock's? Maybe the Cerberus base will hold the answers. Okay, Lieutenant. Follow me. Yeah, you walk, funny. I don't know what the gravity is on Pluto. It probably isn't one Earth gravity. Can we jump? Don't. Try to. Oh, yeah, there we go. It's E to jump. Which spaceship should we go in? I think these are all the same. We could go in there. I think we can enter that. Pop. Pop. No, we can't. So it's got to be one of these ones. And in fact, I think it has got to be that one. We'll take the service truck with Oops. us. You'll need to have the service truck follow you. To give orders to the service truck, first open up its command menu by pressing the F1 key, or by pointing oh, no. at the service truck with your reticle and pressing your space bar. Okay, do that, that's easier. See, this is why I wanted to change the... Right um, you. Good. Now the let's go. It's tiny. Me. Tiny, tiny. I can barely see the text. This is the whole problem in older games with a 4K set. Hold up here a moment, Lieutenant. They don't Sometimes scale the text well, but at least this like has got. Truck. Okay, you've got it. Follow at least me. this has got UI I'm scaling. Up another radar contact just over that hill. Stick close. And the trouble with this keyboard I'm using at the minute is that the function keys. What the hell is that? are not default. I have to actually hold down the function key shift button. Going quick. What is that thing? Watch that crossfire. Whatever that was, it's dead now. Let's get going. Follow me. We killed it. Oh, the mouse is really, really, really not accurate. I'm going to have a word or two with Recon when we get back. This place is hotter than hell. Let's press on to the main base. If they move on after the runaway builder, they will eventually find it trying to make an escape. Thank you. On my way. Lieutenant, 
Lieutenant, I need you to stay with me. Right behind you. See how that is jumping about? Scavengers. These guys didn't have a chance. The main base has got to be close now, so stay tight. That looks like a basey bit. Okay, let's move inside. Stay sharp. Those aliens hit this place hard. Power's completely offline. We've got company. Open fire. On my way. Where are you going? Repair engaged. Okay. That's all I wanted. Where have you gone? Right behind you. Ugh, oh, it's been a while since I piloted one of these. I'm going to walk this thing back to the base, and when I get there, I'm going to try to build a power plant. I need you to cover me on the way. Keep an eye on our radar. I think there's another one coming in. I can see red on the radar somewhere. Bound to bring up some enemies, isn't it? Power's <laughs> back online, oh. boys. Good work. That was easy enough. All. Is that it? Did we win? Yes, we did win. Hmm. So power is restored to the Cerberus base. Did we lose any craft? No, we did not. So, okay, I see that these titles aren't changing there. This is Braddock. Burns? Burns. This is Braddock. Good for you. I know you're out there. If you have something to say, you know my frequency. 
I'm not standing down on this one. Okay. Morph into different forms. I didn't notice them doing that, to be honest, but okay. Once we got inside the Cerberus base, I thought my questions would be answered. But each corner I turn only brings more questions. I talked to one of the men in Manson's squad. There's a few of them still alive, recuperating in the medical unit. He wouldn't say much, but I couldn't tell if that was because of the fear in his eyes and the burns on his body, or because he really didn't know. I was always prepared to face the fact that someday I might have to die for my country. But I never imagined that I might have to die for something I knew nothing about. But in the military, orders are orders. And they don't always come with an explanation. We're not out of the woods yet, Lieutenant. I want a clean sweep of the area to be sure that this site is secure. Check on the ground in case there are enemy units hiding in the tunnels. I'll search what's left oh. of these buildings. You want me to go into the tunnels, do you? Well, I'm claustrophobic. Just switch that to missile mode. I don't know how many missiles we've actually got. No, there was no enemies in those tunnels, so you're quite safe. I can see a red one though. At the top there. tunnels down here. Uh, is that some more? Is that an enemy? No. So maybe the enemy is in here. In these tunnels. I'm picking up something in the tunnel to the north of you. Check it out. I'm on my way. Do my best. It looks like the aliens are as interested in us as we are in them. What is this? I don't recognize this building. Whatever we were doing out here, it wasn't a small operation. This was no outpost. This was a fully operational base. Whoa. Mayday! Mayday! This is Squad 1. The outpost came under heavy fire. We had to evacuate. Can you assist? Can you transmit your position? Negative! They're interfering with my... Commander, do you copy? No, she Damn it. doesn't. Maybe we can pick them up with the satellite feed. Follow well, me, Lieutenant. Maybe we could. That sounds like a plan. I want that tank. Can I hop into that? I can. Now head inside the bunker. 
Look for the interface terminal along one of the walls and point your reticle at it. When your reticle is over the terminal, press your spacebar. You are now looking at the satellite feed. Scroll over the map until you've located the missing ships. Satellite activated. Drop a nav beacon at their location for me to follow. To create a nav beacon in the satellite view, press the N key. The to place N. it, position it near red one and press your spacebar. Make sure the nav beacon is in close proximity to those men, or else it's of no use to anyone. Where are you going, Cook? I need you to find those men for me. I thought we just did. Satellite activated. Make sure the nav beacon is in close proximity to those men, or else it's of no use to anyone. Make sure the nav beacon is in close proximity to those men, or else it's of no use to anyone. No, this isn't very much fun, is it? Is that him? Make sure the nav beacon no. is in close proximity to those men, or else it's of no use to anyone. Make sure the nav beacon is in close proximity to those men, or else it's of no use to anyone. Maybe that's them. Make sure the nav beacon is no. in close proximity to those men, or else it's of no use to anyone. Make sure the nav beacon is in close proximity to those men, or else it's of no use to anyone. Maybe that's it. Uh, that's got a green bit. No, that's the way we were just were. Perhaps that's them. Maybe. Good work, Lieutenant. Ah, there we go. Stay here and see to it that nothing happens to that power plant. I'll go for those men and try to get back here as soon as I can. You're a good pilot, cowboy. Stay alive out here. Where's my tank? There it is. That wasn't very clear at all, was it? Lieutenant, this is General Braddock in carrier orbit. We've got your situation on radar. Listen to me carefully. The enemy is trying to confiscate two ISDF crates located in a northern hangar at that base. Those crates contain sensitive hardware, Lieutenant. Do not let them fall into the hands of the enemy. This is vitally important. Use any means necessary. Okay, let's go find them. Yo. 
you're dead. Where are we supposed to do that quite so quickly? I don't know, I don't know. Oh, here comes some more. doing so well. Well that has been Battle Zone Combat Commander. I, I do quite like this uh, the game and I really quite enjoyed the original. But I let's just have a quick look, see if there's anybody playing this multiplayer still, I bet there isn't. I'd be very, very surprised if people were still playing this. Yeah. So if you want to play this on game... Oh, oh, oh no, there is one though. One game with one player in it. And I think if... Um, Look, you got to join IP. That's how ancient the, the uh, multiplayer code is on this. Name, bird, password, bird, messages, bird. So, I mean, there's quite a lot of maps. Some of them are bigger than others. Deathmatch, capture the so you got capture the flag maps there. Deathmatch maps, FFA, free for all. Okay, King of the Hill, loot game, MPIs. Right, so that's quite a strategy. Strategy games. So there you go, there's Mars. I thought there was a Mars level, but maybe that's from the original game. Strategy capture the flag. So it was always the strategy games that we originally played with Dyla, where you built your base up. Mine, that seems restrictive. Huh. Maybe it's using a weird port, but we are on. Uh, uh, it should be um, automatically opening the ports that it needs. Allowed vehicles. All of them, I suppose. Voice chat. Just team and text chat. Oh. 
can we even launch it? Let's have a quick look. Because somebody's going to be able to join my game, of course. Because I've put a password on it and nobody's playing it. But um, I just wanted to have a quick look just to see if the multiplayer is the same as I remember it being. We should have base things that we can command. So that, for example, so though I can't see the bloody hood. Moving out. Deploy. So yeah, there we go. Roger that, Commander. Deploying underway. So then you could send these out. Are these miners? No. So I think they're um, turrets, actually. Yeah. And now we've got this base that we can then tell it to build different vehicles and different facilities. But you need the... Um, our space is kind of like Spice and Dune. But you need the materials. I can't remember what the materials are called in this game. So if we now highlight that in this tiny little menu there, we can create a scavenger. We can't queue them up though. Yes, sir. So we've got one scavenger. Building complete. If we tell him to. Scavenge. It will go and scavenge. And we can't actually build another one because we don't have enough materials. But we. We have built one. Recycler dropper. So our recyclers are going and recycling stuff. Can we move him? I want him to move. You're the boss. To there. And him. So this is what you would do. You would move your turret and Get them onto choke points. You're the boss. At least that's how I used to play it. I used to build up big turret defences around my base. And I would send the little um, tanks, or the bigger tanks, with the scavengers so you had an escort. Where is my scavenger? He is over there. Well, you would you would cover them yourself. And the other thing you could do is you could just hop out and you could snipe. So let's see if we've still got sniper rifles. If we hop out, yeah, there we go. You see, so we've got a sniper rifle now. So one of the good tricks was that you could hide up on the hills, wait for the pilots to come in and just snipe them through the window of their vehicles pop and pop them off so he's scavenging materials now for us think.
Scavenge. Got it covered. I don't know that he's actually doing anything or not. It's hard to tell. But they should be getting the uh, resources for us. So that we can build more stuff. And they should bring it back to the base. And then in our base... We could then building build more scavengers. Building complete. Yes, sir. Uh. Oh, we were selecting the wrong vehicle. Got it covered. Go and scavenge. And him. So we'll Building. make one more. One more scavenger. So we've got three scavengers now doing the scavenging. Building complete. Yes, sir. Got it covered. And then you could build up more. So. I can barely see the thing though. That's uh, why we need to make the hood bigger. Scout. So we, the other thing you've got is you've got a limited number of pilots to pilot the craft. Scavenger turret five building. Building complete. Locking in course. And you can go and tell these to patrol, or you can attach them to all oh, upgrade. Upgrade. No. Build power. Construction initiated. Go and build stuff. Good boy. Um, demolish. No, three build. No, so we can't do anything more than that. So what can we do now? Turret. Well, we just did a one of those. Can we do science pod? Building. Building complete. Okay, I'm not sure what we need to do with it. Um, scavenger turret. So all we can do at the minute is oh, now we can build more stuff. Scout turret scavenger four. Let's go for whatever four is. I can't quite see. Building. Building complete. I'm on my way. Pick up. Science part.
Yeah, it's a tug. Okay, that's what it was. Scavenger, science pod, empty scout. Build, oh, upgrade. It can't upgrade anything. No. So build a factory. Yes, I want you to build a factory. Build, build, build. And when we've got our factory, we should be able to build even more cool stuff. Construction complete. Or not. Do we need them? <laughs> it's been so long since I've played this, I just can't remember. Alright, well, we haven't got anything that we can build now. Power, let's build another power station, why not? Construction initiated. Now, I thought the scavengers were bringing stuff back, but they don't seem to be doing very much. Science Bay. Construction initiated. Build an armory. That's what I want. Construction complete. Construction initiated.
Took drop off. You got it. Build. Well, you get the idea anyway. Tactical control. It's a trouble I can't see off of these menu items. Relay bunker. Is that? Construction initiated. There's probably a bit of a tactical error to have all of your base items lightly put together like that. It just makes targeting them easier a bit. It's given there's only me on this map, it doesn't really make any difference. Actually, there's anything. Build. Ah, oh, we can't build anything. Turret to constructor. Service track. Science pod. Empty scout. Scout. What's number one? Scavenger. Building. I'm on my way. Building complete. Yes, sir. Go and scavenge. Why aren't you scavenging? Whatever. Doing anything. It was a bit of a clunky UI, but it worked. I think now you would do this with radial manuals, but uh, yeah. These were quite interesting multiplayer games. Finding the first person view and the ability to jump out of your vehicles, which is all very good fun. Though you can't strafe very well. That's as fast as we can go sideways. Anyway, if you want to buy this game for just the single player heights. It's probably a worthwhile having a playthrough actually, because if you like this kind of tactical strategy game and like the idea of having a slightly different twist on it, it was a good remake. And the originals were very good. Although I think I'd probably go for the original Battlefield Redux over this. I didn't think the second game was quite as good as the first. But it still seems to run okay on modern PC. It's graphically pretty simple. So it should run on the potato, I reckon. 
But that is it for today's 365 day gaming challenge. And I shall bid you farewell from Mars with game 107. Oh, look at that, that's very nicely, yeah. No mistake, that that's a very small colour palette. Yes, day 107 and Battlefield. Battle Zone, rather. Because nobody's playing Battlefield anymore, aren't they? Battle Zone, Combat Commander. Just don't get it for the multiplayer because nobody's playing multiplayer. And I should be back again tomorrow with day 108 of the 365 day gamer challenge. Until then, have a pleasant day and I shall see you later.